All right, guys, starting today's video, I want to reveal the new look. So, if you guys didn't know, my car was at Puga's for like about maybe a month and a half. Getting this fenders extended and the bumper also extended too. This is all OEM, this is the OEM bumper with the fiberglass extension. Um, it looks super dope. Um, right now, I'm about to raise it up like maybe a half an inch or so just so that when I do turn I have like sub like like a gap at least so that I'm not rubbing on these fenders so like right here is OEM but like down here right here is all fiberglass and like body filler and stuff like that to make it like smooth and stuff so I don't really know my paint stuff you can ask Puga about that but I just know that most of the stuff right here is all fiberglass and uh, I don't want anything to you know break and chip while I'm turning the car and stuff like that but yeah so right now I'm about to jack it up take off the wheels um, either mess with the camber I like how it looks like right now looks pretty good I think I just need to raise it up a couple inches this is too low for me and I think once I raise it up like an inch and a half maybe two inches should have enough clearance and should be still I should still be able to tuck these so I'll get started on that then uh can't tell i sold my seats um i'm pretty sure i made a video on that but i got my honda at ecu still got to figure that out oh uh, people were telling me to restart it stuff like that something i got to do and figure it out but once i figure that out figure that out i'll probably get the base map going and probably be able to take this car out to like cruises and stuff um whatever tune that's on it right now is like super rich so I don't know, um, but yeah, I'm on a time crunch right now, so I'm going to try to film as much as I can, just me working on the hatch, trying to get the fitment right, and be able to do full lock turns and not have an issue. Alright guys, so I just finished this side, driver's side, I'm about to do the other side next. Um, pretty much I just gave him more camber and raised up the car on one side. This side looks pretty leveled now with the back, um, you really can't tell that I raised it up because I'm still tucking but um it's actually raised up and more camber you can probably tell right here um a lot of people are telling me just do a little bit of camber I was like I really like the squared look which is like this but um if I do it this way um when I do like full lock turns it starts hitting the fender so I raised it up I'm gonna give it a little bit more camber on both sides and uh, I should be good for clearance, especially for turning too. And um, <clears throat> people might give me shit for cambering it. It's, it's, a, it's a wide tire, so I'm regardless, I'm gonna be still using about most of the tire anyways. A little bit of camber, won't hurt, like, it won't hurt, so. You guys can really tell from back here though. Where the hell did the water come from? water just dripped on me but you can really tell from right here you look at it the fender and the wheel right and if I go on the other side squared so it sucks but I mean that's what you got to do if you want to have the correct fitment and clear everything while running the setup I guess but it still looks good overall um, like I said I'm probably gonna use most of the tire anyways um, since it's, since it's so wide, so really can't tell a difference. So I'm gonna close this video. I'm gonna work on the other side tomorrow. Um, me and Gina has a huge project to do right now, and um, we thought it was gonna be easy. Turned out it wasn't. It's taking a lot longer than we thought, and we gotta do a hundred of them. And we, so far we've only got one. So yeah. If I continue this video, you can probably see tomorrow's clips of me starting the video or something. But yeah, hopefully you guys are liking this video and uh, let's get this fitment going.